Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Happy Friday and happy new Finch Knife Day. Yes, I know you guys have seen the one laying out there. This is the Crawdad Jigged Bone Pipeline and it drops today. Actually, all four of these knives drop today. Well, they're all pipelines. But the good folks at Finch sent this out, Spencer and Steve, Absolutely awesome. They sent out the Crawdad Jig Bone for me to check out. A little early. And, well, you know, me and Finch, we pretty much go hand in hand. But, uh, I've got the other three here. The other three variations to show you. So, let's open them up and check them out. Which one are we going to see first? Oh, man, the pipeline. I have not opened these yet. I am. That's an awesome, awesome sticker. I love that sticker. Very, very cool. Now, you know, this one might be the one that ends up being my favorite out of the all four. It came down to this one and the Mother of Pearl, I'll be perfectly honest with you. And with the pipeline theme and the surfboard and just, all right. All right, what do we got? Oh my goodness, that is olive wood. You know what, we are going to zoom in a bit. There we go. Oh my goodness, would you look at that. Look, the grain on the show side is absolutely fabulous. Now they moved the shield down a little bit, very cool. Open construction, right hand tip up carry only pocket clip. Ah, that olive wood looks so good. Now, the grain on the backside, and I mean, there's not a lot of cover to show. You've got some dark up here. A little bit of grain back there, but that grain in that f show side. Yeah. All right. Now, I really like the fact of how it blacks out. You know, you've got it blacked out with the... The contrast between the olive wood, the blacked out hardware, bolster, blade, all that. I think that looks really, really good. Pocket clip. It just, I, I like the way it looks. So, all right. First flip on this one. Very nice. Very nice solid detent. I have to zoom back out a little bit. Oh, man. That looks so good. There you go. 154 cm. It is the pipeline. You have Finch on the front. Nice drop. Detent is very nice on this one. Holy smokes. Now, like I said, guys, these drop at your favorite retailers today. You know, of course, me. I am Austin at Traditional Pocket Knives. He's my dealer, man. He is my Finch guy. Um, anytime there's a new release, he's go. I go to... Austin, grab the new knives. Oh, God, that looks good. Love the handle. Of course, you've got that kind of sodbuster style handle. You've got that nice uh, drop point, almost surfboard looking blade. Oh, man. I've been waiting for this one for a while. Yes. All right. So now we've got the surfboard. Now let's see. Uh, let's save the mother. Whoops. I guess we didn't need to do that. But anyway, let's take a look at it. I'm going to save the Mother of Pearl for last. Again, all the accoutrement. And oh my goodness. Oh, wow, man. Look at that blue. Oh, man. Now, I didn't think it was going to be that dark. But look. Oh. Man, that looks nice. That is beautiful. Okay, now I'm really digging this blue. <laughs> you guys know me. I, I, I'm more of I'm more of the red guy, but wow, this blue really looks fantastic. Just look at the detail in there, and it's kind of darker, so the detail it's coming out though. My goodness. All right, first flip. 
Oh, very nice D10 on that. Drop Shetty again. Yeah, that's a really, really nice D10. Of the three that I've tried so far, that might be the best D10 on all three of them. That's really nice. Again, you know, I mean, this is all the same knife. Just different handle materials. Oh, dang, that thing feels so good in hand. And it cradles. What is that? I think I measured it pretty much. Yeah, it's three and three eighths. So, I mean, it's right almost at that three and a half. But it does, man. It just cradles my hand so nicely. Feels so good in hand. That, dang. I, I'm really, really impressed with this blue. Now, stick with me for a minute. Because when I saw the blue, I'm going to grab another. I was expecting a little more like this you know a little bit more light and it probably depends on where you get it how you get it but i mean that's a and i'm pretty sure i'd have to double check i'm pretty sure these are this aren't they the same i thought they were maybe not i'll have to double check but if so that's quite a bit of contrast there in the difference in color which is fine but that's what I, I was expecting more of the lighter. But this darker really, really looks good. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Now, now I really, I'm, I'm pretty excited for this one, too. The Mother of Pearl. Oh, wow. It, I mean, it's just coming through before I even get the plastic off. Oh, my goodness, guys. And I, it's not even going to do it justice. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know as if the camera can do it justice. God, that looks good. Look at the colors coming through. The pinks. The cr There's cream. There's even some... Look at the greens. Even a little bit of purple. Oh my goodness. That absolutely comes across. On the backside, there you go. You got the greens. You got the blues. The pinks. The oranges purple golly that looks just look how the color reflects off of that oh man that looks so good sorry i'm geeking out guys you know i'm a finch guy you know i'm a finch and there's not a whole lot of people using mother of pearl right now especially on your more modern knives like this now i yeah, say it all the time but finch you know they're their combination of the modern and tra traditional, blah, spit it out. Um, you've got the mother of pearl. You've basically got that sodbuster style handle, but obviously you've got a flipper, bolster lock, pocket clip knife. Good detent. Not as good as the blue though. Let's see. Where's the, let's see. I gotta look at the box because I'm pretty sure. I'll do that here in a minute. We're, 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 I'm geek. Well, I, I can't say we, I'll say I am geeking out on this one for sure. Just the colors that reflect off that mother of pearl is fantastic. Check the drop. Not super droppy as the other ones, but then again, might just need a little juice. It's got a decent drop to it though. D10 is very good. D10 is good. At least I like it. Yeah. Good solid detent. Let me see here. Yeah, the blue. You can even hear it in the snap. Yeah, it's... I'm going back. Going back. Yep, blue is definitely a little bit stronger than that. Let's try the crawdad. Ooh, I don't know. That's close. That's really close. The blue and the crawdad... On mine, of you know, obviously, guys, like I always say, we're talking sample size of, well, one each, I guess, here. This is more of a sample size of four, but all four of these have really good actions. This one needs a, just a little bit of juice. It needs an extra little shake to get shut. Nothing major. Shake shut. God, but the way the colors just bounce off of that. It looks absolutely fantastic. And like I said, the camera isn't quite... There you go. Golly. 
Just look at all the color in that. Let me go back to the show. Oh, there it is. Get it in the right light. My goodness, look how the color is bouncing off of that. I cannot wait to get this out into the natural light. This is just going to look fantastic. Wow. Okay. All right. I, I guess I'm kind of done geeking out over them. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, you know me and Finch. Uh, if it's, it's just the way it is. I am a huge Finch fan, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. I'm going to have to zoom out just a little bit to get all four of them in this shot, but my goodness. You guys have seen the crawdad a little bit more if you've been around, but there you go, guys. There are your four new Finch Knife Pipelines. They drop today, guys. I know this will drop a little early. So, if you've been waiting for one, if you've been waiting for one, uh, which one have you been waiting for? Interesting question. Which one out of these really grabs your attention? Now, perfectly honest with you, it was, it came down between these two because I was thinking the blue was going to be a little bit lighter. <sighs> And coming to the end, I was kind of leaning towards the olive wood. Man, the way that mother of pearl, well, the way the colors come off of that, I don't know. I don't know. I can't pick. It's like picking your favorite kid, right? Um, and the blue. The blue looks fantastic. Yes, I, I like the crawdad jig bone. Uh, most of the crawdad jig bone we've seen have been, a, well, that I have seen, sorry, I need to say that I have seen, has been a little bit lighter in color. So, you know, but wow, four absolutely gorgeous knives, and yes, they dropped today, guys. Now, like I said, Austin, he's my guy. Now, I, I do have a coupon, a couple of coupon codes, but unfortunately, you can't use them on Finch knives anywhere. Any retailer, you can't use coupon codes on Finch. Um, I get mine from Austin. I do have an affiliate link with traditional pocket knives that will be in the description of this knife if you want great service for a great knife go check out austin over at traditional pocket knives and you help out the channel in the process i wished i could save you a little bit of money on these but don't forget traditional pocket knives you also got the rewards program so for let's see i think it's you get a 100 points 100 points equals a dollar. I believe that's how it is uh, to spend on the website. So there's some little perks by shopping with Austin. He's doing the best he can to treat you guys right. And if you watch the um, channel chat, sorry, wasn't coming to me. If you watch my channel chat tomorrow morning, it's with Austin again, almost... Uh, was it three years ago? Yeah, a little over three years ago, actually. So, check that out as well. Guys, go check out your favorite retailer. If you want to help out a good guy and help out the channel, go check out Traditional Pocket Knives and pick one of these beauties up. Greatly appreciate it, guys. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.